Thank you, everybody. <clears throat> I'm delighted to be here, and uh, I want to thank the, uh, the fair for providing uh, space for speakers. You know, there's a lot of activity uh, in an art fair, and one of the most important components of an art fair is information and education and a kind of explanation, a kind of learning uh, curve where you get a perspective on certain things that you may not uh, realize, that you may not have discovered. So uh, I also want to thank uh, One Art Nation, uh, which sort of sounds like a creative, um, uh, a creative casino for the art somehow, One Out Nation. But anyway, I thank you for that. And I appreciate the opportunity uh, to talk about Hunt Sloanham, an artist who uh, I uh, have written about and followed his career extensively. In fact, the most recent article I wrote in the Huffington Post, I think I started out by saying that Hunt Sloanham surely is one of the more interesting artists in America in many different ways. Not only is Hunt Sloanham uh, a gifted painter who has uh, continued to work uh, for the last maybe 40 years on his paintings, starting out with birds of a feather and then into butterflies and then from all kinds of different animals, and then little by little, uh, he came to a conclusion that he needed to warm up in the morning before he started a day's painting. And many artists have uh, the same kind of discipline where particularly if you're, let's say, an abstract expressionist artist, which, which has to do with fluidity, they start, Franz Klein started on, um, on the yellow pages and he would do uh, little drawings uh, on each page of uh, the New York Yellow Pages. Uh, hard, hard to believe that you know one of those uh, pages now would be worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. And he filled the Yellow Pages all the time. That was his favorite thing. He liked that little yellow business.